Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Just three days ago, Shanghai Microelectronics announced a blockbuster news. The three major technical routes of its EUV lithography machine successfully completed the system joint debugging. This news is like a horn, foreshadowing that a chip war, that lasted for seven years, is about to come to an end. To deeply understand the significance of this event, we have to go back to the lithography machine supply cut incident in 2023 that caused a global shock. At that time, the United States and the Netherlands imposed an embargo on EUV lithography machines on China. ASML President Peter Wynne released the arrogant sentence, give the Chinese drawings, the Chinese can't make EUV, like a stone thrown into a calm lake, which caused ripples on the internet and continued to spread to this day. But no one would have thought that after just two years, the Chinese scientific research team was like the dawn that broke through the heavy clouds and achieved a textbook-like gorgeous counterattack. The latest disclosed data shows that as of January 2025, domestic companies have cumulatively applied for more than 3,700 EUV-related patents. Among them, the patents of the lithography machine light source system alone account for as high as 42%. A large part of the reason why ASML of the Netherlands can maintain its industry position is that its light source supply comes from American companies. However, the light source, the moat of EUV lithography technology, was eventually conquered by Chinese companies. For example, the LPP light source technology developed by Shanghai Microelectronics has already achieved a leading position in the industry. Taking the optimization solution of tin target bombardment alone, the domestic solution can increase the collection rate of extreme ultraviolet light by 15%, and the mirror contamination rate is reduced to 70% of ASML equipment. Under the same power, the cost performance of the domestic solution is definitely higher. What is even more amazing is that ASML took 15 years to complete this technology. The Chinese team iterated a better solution in just seven years. Not only that, it also reduced the maintenance cost by 30%, which is like running a longer distance in a shorter time and consuming less energy. If the technological breakthrough of Shanghai Microelectronics has opened a crack in the blockade of EUV lithography machines of foreign companies. Then, the DPP technology of Harbin Institute of Technology is a creative way to overtake others. The team of Harbin Institute of Technology has taken a unique approach and created a discharge plasma solution. This solution is like a powerful energy conversion engine. The energy conversion efficiency has soared to 4.5% which is more than twice that of ASML's laser solution. There are many amazing things about this system, such as its size has been reduced by 40%, the maintenance cost has been halved, and it is also compatible with shorter wavelengths. In the field of chip manufacturing, it is like a light but powerful elf. Some industry insiders have roughly calculated that if this technology matures, the production efficiency of 7 nanometers chips can be increased by 20%, and the area of the lithography workshop can be saved by half a football field. No wonder the American media, Semiconductor Watch, has expressed such amazement and praised this technology as the key to the EUV 2.0 era. However, when it comes to futuristic results, we have to look at the FEL route of the Shanghai light source. The 28-meter miniaturized free electron laser device carefully developed by researchers at the Shanghai Light Source is simply a shining star of optical technology. It can stably output 250W of extreme ultraviolet beams. This powerful power is like an energy source, enough to support the mass production demand of 30 wafers per hour, making chip manufacturing more efficient. More importantly, this system is like a self-sufficient environmental guardian, getting rid of the traditional EUV's dependence on rare gases. The annual savings in helium procurement alone are enough to establish a research and development center. Even ASML engineers are discussing privately that China's plan 
is likely to rewrite the technical standards of the entire industry. In terms of the industrial chain, technological breakthroughs are also exciting. Last year, Yangtze Memories' move was like a shot of adrenaline for domestic equipment, cutting off ASML's 30 orders and turning to domestic equipment. The localization rate of SMIC's new 28 nanometers production line has reached 92%, which is a powerful demonstration of domestic strength in the chip manufacturing industry chain. From lasers, vacuum chambers to control systems, almost all parts of domestic semiconductor equipment are labeled made in China. It is these small labels that have caused China's lithography machine exports to surge by 270% year-on-year. Shanghai Microelectronics has 68 orders, and the domestic photoresist market share has soared from 3% to 41%, completing a gorgeous counterattack. Even more powerful is yet to come. Domestic DUV lithography machines have strong competitiveness. The price is only 60% of the same model of ASML, but the gross profit margin is as high as 90%. It is like a seed with super cost effectiveness. It has taken root and sprouted in the market and has vigorous vitality. Some analysts boldly estimate that after EUV is mass produced, the price system of global lithography machines will collapse by at least one third. This is undoubtedly a huge industry-wide change. The international giants' reactions to these breakthroughs in China are also very real. ASML set up a maintenance center in China under pressure from the United States, and at the same time quietly leaked the key parameters of EUV equipment to the media to show goodwill, like a pawn who was a little panicked in the face of the situation. Even Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger took the initiative to change his words and said at the Davos Forum that the semiconductor industry needs Chinese wisdom. You know, just two years ago, he was a staunch supporter of the embargo. In fact, the most far-reaching impact of this breakout battle is to break the long-standing path dependence of it's better to buy than to make. Some experts have estimated that the process of self-reliance of semiconductor equipment such as lithography machines, has directly driven the growth of the domestic high-end equipment manufacturing industry. Its market size has increased by 12%, creating more than 500,000 jobs. Now, there is news that domestic lithography machines have entered the production verification stage. If the news is true, the domestic substitution of related equipment will be successful, and there will really be no semiconductor equipment giants in Europe and the United States. At that time, the global semiconductor industry will usher in a real China moment. This is not the end of a story, but the starting point of a new era. When ASML engineers shook their heads and marveled at the parameters of Chinese equipment in the maintenance center, they found that the contest between innovation and blockade had actually been decided long ago.